Okay, here's the night devotional for today. I'm calling this one Prayer and Mercy. Let's go to Scripture. King James Version Bible, of course. Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 37. Thus saith the Lord God, I will yet for this be inquired of by the house of Israel to do it for them. I will increase them with men like a flock. Prayer, starting in the Bible days, prayer is what begat mercy. Many times Israel messed up. They messed up really, really bad. And when the prophets would come to them and tell them what was going on and tell them, that, thus saith the Lord, if they would fall on their knees and repent and pray, oftentimes, most times actually, God would have mercy and restore them. Sometimes God's hand of judgment was set on them already so much where it wasn't going to change, but he would have mercy for them on the back end since they prayed. If they didn't pray at all, they would never have mercy. Prayer and mercy go hand in hand. Very, very important today as well, my friends. When we pray, the one thing that I learned from the Holy Spirit a few years ago in my prayer life that made all the difference in the world and God answering my prayers and God performing miracles through the mustard seed faith that he's given me, the gift of faith in my prayers, is that when I pray, I don't ask for mercy for myself. I do for others. I have a huge prayer list. I have, I would say I have thousands of people that asked me to pray for them, have asked me to pray for them over the past few years. So I've got a huge, huge, huge prayer list. I can't remember every single name. I've prayed for all those people before. I can't remember every single name every time, but God does. And he answers prayers. He gives mercy to people that I ask him to give mercy to. Not because I'm anything, because I'm nobody. You know, we have to realize, we have to be humble. We have to be meek and mild. Don't be self-righteous. Don't be cocky. Don't be arrogant like most so-called Christians and pastors and teachers in the pulpits and in YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and Google and blogs, anywhere you go. They're just cocky and arrogant. They get a big ministry and it goes to their head. We're not anything. We're nobody. Prayer is key, my friends. Prayer is a key that can unlock any door. Faith is what opens that door. And if we have faith in our prayers, if we have faith in God, faith in Jesus Christ, what he did for us, and when we pray, we pray to Jesus Christ. He's our intercessor. He takes it to the throne room of God for us and tells his Father what we're asking. That's the way that it works. We pray to Jesus Christ, he brings it to the Father. And if we pray for mercy for others, God will give mercy to us many times over. I've seen so many times since I've learned this valuable lesson that when I pray for others and don't worry about myself, God anoints them, he answers prayer for them, and many times if they're, my, if they're people who consider me an enemy and who hate me, they'll turn around and end up apologizing later. God works on their hearts. But the thing is, God will, will grant mercy in your life. You're not even asking for it because you're asking it for everybody else. God understands this. Jesus Christ was, the, was the, the ultimate sacrifice. He was the perfect, the Lamb of God, the God-man. Totally perfect. No sin anywhere in his life. And he died for our sins and laid down his life for us. He, he was the perfect example of selflessness. We need to look at him and try to be selfless in our walks as well. We can never be just like Christ here on earth. It's impossible, but our goal is to strive to be just like him as close as we possibly can. So let's go ahead and pray. And when we, we get it in our alone prayer time and fall to our knees and, 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 and intercede to the Lord, take yourself out of the equation. Don't even pray for yourself. Just thank God for letting you maintain and giving you what you need in life. Intercede for others, ask for mercy and blessings on others and watch that mercy and blessing pour out on your own life. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you, and I love you so much. And I, I thank you what what happened in, in Israel. Uh, God, you, Jesus just, Jesus came and died for our sins, but before he was came to the earth, he was in heaven with you, and, and we know that you're separate. We also know you're the same, the, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, the Triune, the Three in One, but also separate. And we know how much you loved and just blessed Israel, and you still do. They're your chosen people. And Jesus, I thank you for dying for us on the cross. And, and I thank you that now we come to you as our, we, inter, we go to you and you intercede to the Father for us. And I pray that you would just help us to remember when we pray, to pray for mercy, to pray for blessings, to, to, to pray for, for kindness and, and, and for safety and, for, and, and to, for loving and help for even those that hate, that hate our guts and consider us their enemies. Just pray for mercy for them and love on them and pray for mercy for all those who are hurting and in need. And then just watch God work in our lives as well. I ask all these things in Jesus' precious name. Amen. If you watch this video and don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, pray this prayer with me. Jesus, I know I've sinned. I've done bad things in my life, and I'm sorry. I believe you came to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you rose again on the third day, went back to heaven to be at the right-hand side of the Father. 
Since that time, you've been making a place in heaven for all Christians forever. Please forgive me of my sins, Jesus. Wash my heart white as snow. Come live in my heart. Make me a new creature in Christ, a child of the King. In your precious name I ask it. Amen. When you pray this prayer, Jesus says that all who comes to me and ask shall be saved. Now, once you get saved, get your King James Version Bible. It's the living, breathing Word of God. It'll feed your spirit and soul every day if you read it. The same way you feed your body with food and water. Pray to Jesus Christ every day. He loves you. wants to talk to you every day. He's your new best friend. Get water baptized as soon as possible. Pray to be sanctified with the Holy Spirit from head to toe. You should draw closer to Christ in what little time we have left before the imminent rapture. Take your King James Version Bible to church with you. Or when you watch videos online or anywhere online. When people start preaching or, or, or talking or teaching, check your Bible out and see what it says. If what they say don't match your Bible, close that Bible, get up and walk out. Find somewhere else to worship. It's very important, my friends. If you have questions, comments, concerns, you want me to pray for anything, from a terminal illness to a sick pet, anything in between, contact me here. I have the gift of faith, mustard seed faith. Didn't earn it, didn't deserve it. Praise the Lord, I've got it. And I will pray for you every day, expecting a miracle in your life. I see miracles every day, praying for others, all through the glory, strength, honor, power, and might of Jesus Christ. Nothing through me. I'm nothing, nobody, a tiny fish in a huge ocean. I'm the lowest of lowest slaves. Just like the Apostle Paul was a slave for Christ, I'm the lowest of lowest slaves for him as well. But I will pray for you every day, expecting a miracle in your life. I know God will perform it as long as it's within his holy will. Please share the link to this channel, this video, other videos with friends, neighbors, co-workers, with loved ones, with strangers. Drop it in a blog, plant the seed, walk away, let God water it so it can grow. The soft soap, powder puff, la -de da cotton candy, syrupy, garbage that we hear in most pulpits all over the internet, it's not going to convict anybody of, that, of anything. We have to teach the hardcore truth from the Word of God, from the King James Version Bible, the meat and potatoes, the surf and turf, with a side dish of key lime pie, the real stuff, the stuff that, that gives eternal life, that feeds the spirit and feeds the soul, the way I preach it on this channel. Not because I'm anything, because God's everything. I love you guys. I pray for you every day. May God bless you. Thanks.